the bell icon to turn on notifications. Microsoft Teams now provides a recap of Teams meetings so participants and maybe those who couldn't attend can review a completed meeting. And the recap includes the meeting recording, the transcript, any chat that's occurred and also shared files. And these are automatically shared in the meeting chat tab and viewable in the details of the meeting invite. You'll also find that if you're an organizer, there will be an attendance report as well. So you can see currently I am in a Teams meeting and I am recording this meeting. And we can see that indicated by the recording icon in the top left hand corner. And just a side note, if you want to start recording your meeting, click the three dots in the middle and you'll have a start recording button where I currently have stop recording. What I've also done is I've turned on live captions. So basically everything that I'm saying is showing in a caption bar at the bottom of the screen. And this is also being recorded and will be available to me after the meeting. And the final thing that I'm going to do here is you can see that in the chat panel, I have a document that I'd like to share with the other meeting participants. So I'm just going to click on the little paper plane to send that through, because again, what you'll find with this new recap feature is once we've finished this meeting, all of this information is going to be available for us to see. So we can basically see every single detail of the meeting that has occurred, which is particularly useful if there are people people that were unable to attend the meeting because it's going to allow them to really get a feel of what was discussed and catch up. So now that we've done all of those things, let's pretend that this meeting is now over and we are going to first of all stop the recording and I'm going to end the meeting. So now if I go back to my Teams Northwind Traders sales channel, you can see what I have in here. And it's worth noting that depending on how long your meeting is, how long that recording is, this can sometimes take a few minutes to come through. So just be patient and it should eventually all come into the channel. And what you'll notice now is that I can basically view or download any element of the meeting that's just occurred. So you can see here that automatically it's sent to this particular channel, which is where I started this meeting from, a copy of the document that I shared in the chat panel within the meeting. I then have the meeting recording, which is going to include the chat transcript. And then finally at the bottom, I have an attendance report. So if I click on this attendance report, you can see that it's currently downloading. And once that's finished downloading, it's going to go into the downloads folder on your PC. So if I just pull up my downloads folder, I can see there it is at the top. And if I double click to open it, it's just a CSV file. So it's going to open in Outlook. I can see some of the details of my meeting. So it's telling me that there were two participants. We've got the meeting title, the start time and the end time. And then we have details of the participants. So I can see when they joined, when they left, the duration of the call, their email address, and then what their role is within Teams. So this can be particularly useful if you have a lot of attendees. And of course, because it creates this as a .csv and you can open it in Excel, it then opens up all of Excel's rich functionality. So if you want to sort, filter, perform calculations, you can do all of that with this report. Now, aside from having all of this information populate in the channel where the meeting was started from, you can also go to other places within Teams to find these files. So, for example, if we take a look at the top of the screen where we have the title sales, currently I'm clicked on posts. But if I go across to files, you can see there is the Northwind sales report that I shared in the meeting. So I could also access it from here. If I go across to the left hand menu and click on files from over here, this is basically going to show me all of the files that I've shared across Microsoft Teams. And what can we see here at the top? Well, we can see again that Word document that I shared, Northwind Sales Report, but also I have a copy of the meeting recording in here as well. And you can see that that is just an MP4 file, which I can click on and listen back to. Now, I will say that if we jump across to chat in the left hand menu, 
If we choose to start a meeting from here, any files that you share within that meeting, also the attendance report and any chat transcripts and the recording, you'll find here underneath this chat heading. And the final thing that's really worth mentioning is that meeting recordings and transcripts are only available if somebody in the meeting turns them on. So if you're in a meeting and you're not recording it, then obviously you're not going to receive a copy of that recording into your Teams channel. So you need to make sure you start recording. And the same applies to things like transcripts. You need to make sure that you have live captioning turned on. And currently within Teams, transcription is only available in English. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get four free courses in Excel, QuickBooks, Microsoft Project, and Photoshop, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.